Hey, it's Dave White with Quad City Safety. I woke up this morning and it's snowing again. I thought we just got out of the last polar vortex, but no, here we go again. Happy winter. So the reason that I wanted to have a conversation today is about EN 511. EN 5.11 is another testing standard that all too often we always have these little numbers and all these little things placed on the glove that means something. Under EN 511, you're going to three, see three different numbers. You're going to see basically a convective or protection against convective temperatures. One, the second number is contact. And the third one is whether it's uh, water resistant or proof, the, th the third number. So the first number can be kind of a basically a zero to four scale. So the bigger the number, uh, the more protection it gives from that those days when we're out there and let's say that it's windy because basically what the test does is it takes a look at what's going on outside then we have the glove material and then we have basically a sensor so and we're trying to keep this one at a similar a same temperature so we're trying to keep our hand this is our hand and we want it to stay warm just like it is now and basically we have the glove material and then we're hitting it with uh, you know, a convection on the other side, and we're basically looking at what the insulation factor there of the glove is. Then the contact is actually, again, I'll just go ahead and put the glove on this time. So now the glove has sensors in here, and we're placing it directly against something that's cold. So it, it would mimic us uh, holding on to tools, you know, that really cold wrench or snow shovel or whatever that is, maybe even making snowballs. The final under the EN 511 is either a zero or a one. So it's either waterproof or it's not waterproof or resistant. And as you can see, just to show you, this one is a zero. So despite the fact that it has a three quarters coating, it would not pass the test because we could penetrate there. So typically, if you're going to have one that is rated a 1 on the third score on the EN 511, it would require it to be a fully coated, impermeable uh, coating. So let's quickly recap it. So the first score is our weather out here. Is it, are we getting protection from the elements, meaning whether it's blowing, however nasty it is, are we getting protection there? If we go to a 4, it's the highest. Then the second one is contact. So as I'm holding on to something and the transfer of cold into the glove, if the higher the score, the more protection you're getting. This one is a two, so it's middle of the road. The final score is, is it waterproof? It's a yes or no. One, yes, zero, no. And when we're looking at our gloves, we've learned that all gloves are not equal, but we've also learned that we have to pay attention to the scores that are on the glove to understand what the capabilities of them are.